resource in the server. So I will select the first endpoints folder and I will click on three dots and I will select the add request. Here I'll specify the request name as create booking. Then I will select the request type as post. So here I'm creating the resource in the server. So that's the reason I have selected the post method. So here I'm specifying the URL. So we will use the same URL that is uh, HTTPS colon to forward slash followed by the restful booker dot com then followed by booking. So this is about the type of request to create the resource in the server. We need to select the type of request as a post then the URL. URI we have to add it then we need to add the headers. So here you can type you can add the content type as application slash json so that's it you can come back to the body here you can select the raw and here you can select the json even you can send the different format of the data it can be text file html format or even xml format also we can send the data to the server so in our case we are using the only json file so here we have to specify the json request body I will go back to the get booking details and simply I'll copy this whole JSON object then I'll paste it in the body. So that's it. Here I'll specify the test first name as testers and last name as top. That's it. So we have the post request ready. So after clicking on this send. It, it is going to return us the booking ID. By using that booking ID, we can check the details are properly stored in the server or not. We can check it. So I will click on this send now. So if you look at the response now, we got the 200 status code and we got the booking ID. So let us check this resources, resources is properly created or not. I'll copy this booking ID. I will go to the get booking details so this particular api returns us the any booking details by taking the parameter as the booking id right so simply i will paste the booking id here here in the url and i will click on send and if you look at this response server response we have the first name as testers last name as stop and rest of the details i have not updated it so it is a as is so you have seen how to create the get request and post request. So 